you want to play football, this is where you should be. OU is my love. This is what I enjoy. This is the atmosphere I want to be in. Whether there's more trophies or less trophies, I'm still going to love this team. I want to be in that stadium with the fans, with the team I love. I have not missed a home game since I was in kindergarten. I will be sitting in my seats every Saturday as long as I live. Saturdays in the fall is a family event for us. My parents, my brother and me sit all together and then also I have an uncle that has seats right next to us. I think family and football go hand in hand with each other. You got started earlier than I did because I was probably in high school before I really started following OU football. My first year at OU was 74, was undefeated season, national championship, and that kind of uh, got into my blood. So as my kids grew up, they just followed me and became huge fans. I have not missed a home game since I was in kindergarten. Rain or shine, heat or cold, it doesn't matter. I will be sitting in my seats every Saturday as long as I live. May of 2016, I had a tumor removed from my left forearm. They told me it was cancer, but at that time, they didn't know exactly what type of cancer. It took three to four weeks for them to finally figure out what it was. It came back as an unusual tumor called a Ewing's sarcoma. That's something we don't really see day in and day out. It's an extremely rare childhood bone cancer. And for me, being 28 at the time, it also grew outside of my bone, which made it even more rare. She underwent chemotherapy for several months. It was very uh, aggressive, very intense. When I started chemo, I wanted to work my regimen around football season. But with the chemo treatment plan, you have to stick to it. Carrie managed to make it to all the games during her treatments. Sooner football, I think, was big in taking her mind off of what was going on with her body. I think it was important for her to be able to go to the OU football games because you have to have something to live for. The second bond me and my father share is we were both diagnosed with cancer in the same week. So this is Dad's day from the year we were both going through cancer treatments. That football season was kind of bittersweet, but it was something that we could look forward to on Saturdays. She's now cancer free. We see her probably every four to six months and she's doing well now, but it was a very serious thing for her undergoing that for several months. I think cancer looks different for each person. It was a part of me, but it didn't define me. This is what it's all about. Earning rings, earning trophies. This is what you expect when you come to Oklahoma. I see in my future a family of my own still enjoying Oklahoma football. I hope to have children someday that I can instill the same love that my dad instilled in me to continue this love for a team that means so much to our family. My name is Carrie Hollingshead and my Sooner Crimson never fades.